With the Artian launched in 2017 and then revised three years on to create the car we're going to look at here, Volkswagen makes another bid for executive segment credibility. Elegance, comfort and technology are all delivered here, along with a five-door coupe body style and a surprising level of practicality, especially with the alternative shooting brake body style. If you're looking for something individual and sensibly different in this sector, it's worth a look. So, lots to talk about with this revised Artian, new engines, including a plug-in PHEV model, a more responsive four-wheel drive option, uh, new assisted driving tech, and a fire-breathing flagship Artian R performance model with 320 PS, all of which can be fitted to a brand new shooting brake body style if you don't want this fastback Gran Turismo hatch. But of course, much has also remained the same. As we said when we first tested this car, in many ways the whole Gran Turismo concept rather suits this Artian. Uh, GT motoring is supposed to be about high-speed touring rather than out-and-out -out sports car driving dynamics. And if you uh, judge this Volkswagen purely on that criteria, then you're likely to be quite satisfied with it. Refinement is excellent, as is ride quality, thanks to a specially developed four-link independent rear suspension setup that can be embellished with a sophisticated DCC dynamic chassis control adaptive damping system. Uh, DCC is optional on the mainstream models, but it comes as standard if you go for one of the top four-motion four-wheel drive variants, which also get an XDS electronic differential lock system to help get the power down at speed through tight turns. You won't really want to go throwing this Volkswagen about though, it really isn't that kind of car, but what it lacks when it comes to driving on its door handles, it more than makes up for with exemplary transcontinental style cruising ability. This car's latest travel assist system now allows level two partially autonomous driving at speeds of up to 130 miles an hour. And the adaptive cruise control system is now predictive, meaning it can anticipate and adapt to road conditions before you reach them. All of which clues you up for what you're in for here, a driving experience which in every way is prioritized towards laid back comfort, exactly as a typical Artian user would want. Engine-wise, two key changes have been made to this revised model, with perhaps the most significant being the introduction of the Wolfsburg brand's latest Evo series 2.0-litre TDI 150 PS diesel engine, a unit that, uh, when paired with the DSG 7-speed automatic gearbox that most Artian customers want, is capable of up to 58.9 mpg on the WLTP cycle and up to 128 grams per kilometre of WLTP-rated CO2 in this fastback model. The other key change relates to the freshly introduced petrol-electric plug-in power plant used in the e-hybrid plug-in variant, which gets a large 13 kilowatt hour battery, which enables a WLTP-rated driving range of up to 33 miles. As for the more conventional engines, well, the range kicks off with the VW Group's usual 1.5-litre TSI 150 PS petrol unit, uh, but that can't be had with the DSG Auto gearbox that most Artian folk want, which means that you're just as likely to be looking at the two mid-range powertrain options, which only come in auto form, either the 2-litre TSI 190 PS petrol model we're trying here, or the uprated 200 PS version of the 2 litre TDI diesel, which incidentally is the only mainstream engine in the range that can be ordered with the option of Volkswagen's four motion four wheel drive system, now improved with selective wheel torque control. That four motion setup also features on the fire breathing Artian R performance flagship model that we mentioned earlier. That uses the 2 litre TSI petrol engine in an uprated 320 PS state of tune. Volkswagen design chief Klaus Sikura believes the Artian merges the design elements of a traditional sports car with the elegance and the space of a fastback. The key frontal updates that characterise this improved model relate to this broad, deep grille which gets the latest Volkswagen badge at its centre. Uh, the lower of the two silver crossbars that bisect that roundel now feature LED fibre optic cables so that the lighting elements, uh, the radiator grille and the bonnet merge to form a single unit. You don't notice much difference during the day but it all looks rather smart at night. Uh, this lower apron is different too. It was previously composed of four chrome bars but it's now made up of three significantly more striking ones. 
Move to the side and the size and character of the Artyan become even more evident. Ignore any ignorant colleagues who dismiss this as a prettified Passat. This is quite a different kind of car with quite different dimensions, which see it measuring 95 millimetres longer, 39 millimetres wider and 26 millimetres lower than its showroom stablemate. Those dimensions are almost, but not quite, uh, enough to qualify the Artyan for full-sized executive segment status, or to put it another way, uh, to make it into an Audi A6 rather than an Audi A4 rival. The shaping from the B-pillar backwards will of course depend on whether you've chosen the shooting brake estate body shape or the Gran Turismo five-door hatch. Uh, both feature this swept back roof line and we like the uplighter effect of these sculpted lower panels. Uh, with this Gran Turismo hatch model, subtle changes feature at the rear where that revised Volkswagen badge is flanked by restyled LED light clusters that will feature this darkened tinting, providing you avoid entry-level trim. Rather surprisingly, yes, a complete redesign of fundamental fascia architecture rarely features with merely facelifted models, but that's what we've got here. The entire dash panel is different. The air outlets, the centre console, the surfacing, the trim panels, all of it. And there's a smarter looking three-spoke steering wheel too, which is now of the touch-sensitive capacitive kind. Uh, as before, the instrument dials uh, are replaced on all models by Volkswagen's customizable active info display, a 12.3-inch TFT screen with an almost infinitely customizable layout of crystal clear virtual graphics. Anything that the instrument binnacle can't tell you will almost certainly be covered on or duplicated by this 8-inch center dash discover infotainment display uh, discover pro 9.2 inch screen is available on request at the wheel if you're used to an audi or a bmw then you might not especially like the way that these uh, superbly supportive ergo comfort seats position you a little higher in front of this three spoke leather stitched wheel still that is useful for maximizing rear three quarter vision which is better than it usually is on Gran Turismo style models of this type. And that's despite the narrow rear window and the thick, steeply angled rear pillars. Let's take a seat in the back. Uh, the higher roof line of the alternative shooting brake version of this model makes it slightly easier to get into the rear. Once inside, despite 1.48 meters of interior width, this car isn't suited to the carriage of three adults. Gran Turismo's never are. Uh, the prominently high central transmission tunnel mitigates against that. You do, though, courtesy of the lengthy 2.84 metre wheelbase, get standards of legroom that are on another level from competing Audi A5 Sportback and BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe models. The actual legroom figure in this Artyan is 1,016 millimetres with both body shapes, and that matches what you get from full-sized executive saloons from the next class up, measuring over five metres in exterior length. Class-leading headroom, of course, can't be offered here, but the swept back roof, as you can see, doesn't compromise headroom too much. There's 940 millimetres of it. Lankier six-footers may find themselves brushing the smart headliner, but only in this hatch model. That's less of an issue in the shooting brake, which offers 48 millimetres more ceiling height. Uh, let's finish this segment by taking a look in the boot. Now you only get this powered tailgate if you avoid entry level trim and once it's risen you're faced with a large 563 litre space in this Gran Turismo hatch model which if you're interested is 83 litres more than you get in a rival Audi A5 Sportback. If you need more room than that, pushing forward the 60-40 split seat back frees up as much as 1,557 litres of total fresh air in this hatch model and more than 2 metres of loading length between the front seats and the boot lip. For the shooting brake estate variant, total carriage capacity is rated at 1,632 litres. In summary then, should you be undecided between the mid-sized and full-sized executive segments and want something practical and spacious, yet with more style and individuality than is available from the usual business class suspects in these categories, then the Artian could well be a perfect choice. Style knows no brand boundaries, and if you doubt that, then you need to try this car.